sunrise in the flat lowlands of the Amazon Basin. This remote part of the northern Bolivian rainforest is only sparsely populated. The region used to be renowned for its production of natural rubber. Today, the Brazil nut is the most important economic contributor. But how is this nut cultivated, harvested and processed? Who are the people behind all this, who live in the middle of the jungle and who earn their living from the Brazil nut? Soy Ernesto Molina. My name is Ernesto Molina, and I work here in Fortaleza Pando, Bolivia. I'm just getting ready to harvest Brazil nuts in the jungle. It's still quite early. The temperatures are rather cool. Later on in the day, when the sun has risen, working in the heat is harder. Since this is harvest time, we all live in the jungle together. When the harvest is over, my family and I return to our village. But until then, everyone helps with the harvest. Ernesto is one of around 15,000 Brazil nut harvesters in the Bolivian rainforest. During harvest time, from December to March, most harvesters live in the middle of the jungle in makeshift huts. The rainforest in Bolivia is hard to access and spread over an area of 10 million hectares. Collecting Brazil nuts is very hard work. Harvesters travel up to 15 kilometers each day. There are only two to three of these majestic tree giants with a height of up to 50 meters per hectare. Ernesto looks for the nuts which have fallen within a radius of 50 meters from the tree trunk with a machete and piles them up into mounds. Generally, he will be able to harvest just one tree per day, since a tree produces 800 to 1,000 capsules. Finding them in the difficult terrain is hard and dangerous. I practically part a day entre. I split between 700 and 1,000 capsules apart each day. This can be dangerous. There are snakes and scorpions. Since not all fruits have fallen from the tree, there is the danger of being hit by a falling fruit on the arm, on the foot, or on the head. After gathering the capsules, which weigh approximately one kilo each, Ernesto opens the hard shell with a machete and collects the exposed nuts in a sack. The Brazil nut harvest time coincides with the rainy season in Bolivia. Harvesters spend hours in the pouring rain in the muddy forest extracting the precious contents from the capsules. The fruit of the Brazil nut tree is a hard ball similar to a coconut. Inside are up to 20 seeds the size of a plum, arranged in a fan-like order. These are the actual Brazil nuts. Each seed is up to 5 centimeters long, has three sharp edges and a shell as hard as stone. The truly special thing about this nut is that it has never been possible to cultivate it in artificial plantations. Eme Hecker, agricultural engineer with the company Hylia 1884 in Bolivia, explains why. Brazil nut trees are very hard to cultivate in plantations. The reasons are that, firstly, the trees require the natural ecosystem and the vegetation in order to develop. Secondly, only a very few types of bees can pollinate these trees. The bee Eoclosa has a long enough tongue or proboscis to pollinate the fruits of the Brazil nut. Without this pollination, the Brazil nut trees do not produce the fruit capsules. Ernesto collects the precious goods in sacks weighing up to 70 kilos, more than his body weight. He then carries this sack back to his camp using the difficult jungle trails, a distance of up to four kilometers, depending on how far away the tree is. 
Here the nuts are stored until a tractor picks up the harvest. Depending on where the harvesters are, such a tractor journey can take up to four days in the rainy season. Muddy off-road trails, fallen trees, deep puddles are just some of the transport challenges. The nuts, still damp, must not stay in their sacks for longer than seven days, or they may turn mouldy. So, in the central store, they are measured in standardised boxes and spread out to dry. My name is uh, Martin O'Toole. Our company's purpose is to import fruits and nuts into Europe. I come to Bolivia twice a year. My prime reason for coming in the first trip is because that's the time of the crop, which is collected from the jungle between December and April. I come here really to analyse the size of the crop and the quality of it. Of course, the harvesters have neither the time nor the means to sell the Brazil nuts on the international markets. They rely on exporters such as the Hecker family, one of the six largest exporters of Brazil nuts worldwide. All nuts they purchase for resale are certified as green products. Welcome to Fortaleza. Fortaleza is located on the Beni River in the Pando County. This whole area, approximately 100,000 square kilometers, is jungle. Since 1919, the Brazil nut has been our most important export product. Fortaleza currently has about 300 inhabitants. Our goal is to enable these people to work in a sustainable manner and protect the forest in doing so. In Urwald nachhaltig arbeiten können und dementsprechend als solches wie heißt den Wald schützen können. Only if the Brazil nut harvesters can achieve a fair and stable price is the gruelling work worth it for them. For generations, the Hecker family has been an important party for the purchase of the nuts. Once a week, the harvesters working in the forest in a 7 to 10 kilometer area around the village come together to receive payment for their harvest. During harvest time, Peter and Eme Hecker spend weeks visiting the remote camps of the harvesters in order to judge the quality of the nuts. At the same time, they bring food and the salaries with them, a logistical challenge since the paths in the middle of the jungle are sodden and almost impassable from the constant rain. Life so far away from civilization is hard for the harvesters. There's no electricity, no running water, and hordes of insects turn their work into hell. In undeveloped County Pando, with its dense forests, the main transport channels are the rivers. It takes four days for the Brazil nuts to travel from Fortaleza to Ribaralta by boat, where they arrive for further processing. Most of the 22 Bolivian Brazil nut factories are located here in the northern part of the country. One of these factories is Green Forest Products. This factory receives 2,900 tons of Brazil nuts each year. In the first step, the Brazil nuts are sorted by size before being heated in a steam container and rapidly cooled with cold water. This serves to soften the nut and separate the outer shell from the inner shell containing the kernel. Then they are dried again for four to five hours before being cracked. The factory has two methods for this. The automated option spins the nuts inside an accelerating drum until the shell breaks. The nuts are then sorted on a conveyor belt and inspected for quality. The second, slower option is to crack the nuts by hand. This laborious process guarantees 120 badly needed jobs in this structurally weak area of Bolivia.
In the following quality control step, damaged parts of the nuts are cut away and any remaining bits of shell are removed. Broken pieces of nuts are also processed further, mainly as ingredients in baby food, muesli or healthcare products. After a final check, the kernels are dried in an oven until they only contain 3% humidity. Each day, a laboratory extracts samples to check the quality of the products. Finally, the kernels are weighed and vacuum sealed. In our factory, we only process Brazil nuts destined for export. In order to ship to the most important markets such as Europe, North America, Australia and New Zealand, we strictly follow all the worldwide quality standards. Of course, we also adhere to all national legislation with a focus on social regulations. We employ approximately 270 staff in this factory. The times in which Brazil nuts were popular for Christmas only are long gone, even if this nut only contributes 1% to the overall global market for nuts. With the trend towards healthier nutrition, the Brazil nut has an established role in Europe as part of dried nut mixtures coated with chocolate, grated into muesli, pressed as oil or as an ingredient in healthcare products. The advantages of this nut are obvious, since it is rich in trace elements such as selenium, which can contribute to the body's detoxification. Selenium also has an antioxidant effect. It helps protect against heart and metabolic diseases and the effects of cancer. Most people do not realize the importance of Brazil nuts to preserving the rainforests. Because Brazil nuts grow in the wild, they cannot be uh, grown in plantations. Um, they can only uh, grow in, in, the, in the Amazon jungle. They are protected by the population in those areas. Without the success of the Brazil nuts in terms of its end consumption, there would be a big danger that the rainforest would be at risk from the population who had to find other ways to survive. So in conclusion, Brazil nuts is a vital part of preserving the Amazonian rainforest. During harvest time, up to 20,000 families secure their annual income by collecting Brazil nuts. Additionally, eight to 9,000 workers are employed in the factories for processing the Brazil nuts. A further 15,000 jobs are guaranteed in areas such as sales, transportation and storage. The Brazil nut is the most important economic factor in the Bolivian Amazon forest. However, the income of these people is linked to the short harvest time. Peter Hecker has a vision on how employment could be guaranteed throughout the year. Our our main goal is to ensure the harmonious coexistence of people and nature. That is why we must diversify. We'll need to plant wild cocoa and pepper that grows with the moringa tree in order to reach harvesting volumes that can sustain workers throughout the year. The final assumption is that in this way each person can become a guardian of the forest. Should a solution against deforestation of the rainforest really consist of giving people like Ernesto and his family work by eating Brazil nuts, there surely are worse proposals.